So, maintenance. Do we need to maintain it? Like any good heating system, it does require maintenance. It probably will require more maintenance than a gas-powered system. The many homes installing the biomass boiler, or many buildings installing the biomass boilers, are probably off-grid, off-gas grid anyway. So it is a solid fuel system. Um, where my hand is here is the top of the boiler. I maintain this myself at the moment. If you wish to qualify for the Renewable Heating Centre, you'll probably need a qualified installer to maintain this once a year and have records to prove it. Ours did not qualify for Renewable Heat Incentive because the gentleman who installed it was not qualified for MSC at the time of the installation, unfortunately. But otherwise it would qualify and the payback would be pretty rapid. So to maintain it, I would flip open this lid and I would remove a panel that's above the boiler. Okay? And what that is, there's a drum. At the bottom of the drum, Behind there, there's a fire door. I can't show it to you now because it's an operation. Essentially, I open the fire door and that will expose a burner plate. Now, the fuel comes via Archimedean screw at the bottom of the silo, up under the, the burner plate, and the boiler blows a blast of fresh air up through the boiler plate. It self ignites. I never have to light this, it self ignites. It burns with ferocious heat. If I do ever have to um, look at it, if I open the door, um, we saw it doing commissioning, it's actually quite a phenomenal burn. It's like a jet engine firing directly up through a large drum which has the water circulating pipes buried within it. There are various baffles inside that allow it to recirculate the hot air. And then finally, it's sucked out through the flue at the back, as you can see. So actually, when the boiler operates, unlike a gas boiler, you can see it, you can actually hear it operating. It's actually like a giant fan, so it's sucking lots of air in, getting really, really efficient heating, very, very efficient energy extraction from the fuel. So all that happens inside, you know, the, the grimy, gritty ash that you see, it's just coated with that. So once a year, I take about it with a soft brush and I just brush all that ash away. We also clear out any ash that's in the bottom of the burn chamber and just clean everything out and dump it, okay, into the ash container. That's it. You do get a little bit of clinker on the burn um, plate itself. Um, that can be removed with wire brush and screwdriver, not a big deal. It's very, very simple. Obviously, it gets very, very hot, it expands, it contracts, it expands, it contracts. So it's actually mechanically very simple. So there's no, nothing really to oil, nothing really to tinker with, no mechanisms to change or check. All you do is clean it, essentially. There is actually a small valve under the silo that in theory you are meant to check but on this installation, it's almost impractical even to see it, so we almost rarely ever look at it. But that's really not a problem. Touch wood, if you pardon the pun, in all the years we've had it now, now it's 2014, we've had it five years, we've not had a day's problem with this boiler.